Welcome to Moomoo Maths. Today we're going to look at how to find the least common multiple of polynomials. You probably are familiar with least common multiples, but let's look at it in terms of polynomials. Okay, we've got a couple steps here. The first thing we're going to do is factor each term. And then after we factor each one, we're going to write each factor to be the common multiple, but we're not going to duplicate those common terms. So let's look at this first one. Okay, we've got 4x squared. So if I factor 4x squared, I'm going to factor the 4 into a 2 times 2 and the x squared to an x times x. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with 10. So 10 is going to break down to five, 2 times 5 and then x times y. Okay, now I'm going to Write each factor, but I'm not going to duplicate the common ones. Okay, so I've got to write the number 2, and that accounts for both of these because I don't want to duplicate that one. Okay, that means I need also a com another common 2, and it counts for that one, and a 5 to account for the 5. So my coefficient is actually going to be 2 times 2 times 5, which is 20, and you can see both 4 and 10 divide into 20 evenly. Now let's look at not duplicating the variables. Okay, I'm going to pull an x down here, but that x accounts for both this one and this one because I don't want to duplicate. Okay, I'm going to pull another x down to, to represent this x, and then I'm going to bring down the y. So now I have all my factors represented. Now let's just multiply it together to look at it in a cleaner form. Okay, we said 2 times 2 times 5, that m multiplies to 20 x times x is x squared, and then y. Okay, so my least common multiple is 20x squared y. Let's look at a couple more of these because they get a little fancier. Okay, so here's one with a binomial and a trinomial. So what's the first thing we do? We factor. So let's factor these. So I'm going to take out a 2, and I'm going to have x plus 2. And then I'm going to factor x squared plus 5x plus 6, and this factors into two binomials. What well, multiplies to 6 but adds to 5? Well, we know 3 times 2, they're the same sign, they're both positive, so it's going to be x plus 3, x plus 2. So I've just factored my trinomial. Now let's bring all of our factors down. I'm going to bring down a 2. Okay, it counts for that one. This one doesn't have a 2, so I don't worry about crossing anything out. Okay, I'm going to bring down an x plus 2, and it accounts for both of those because I don't want to duplicate. And then I'm going to bring down an x plus 3. So there is my least common multiple, 2 times x plus 2 times x plus 3. Okay, let's go down and look at one more of these. Okay, here's another one. I have a binomial and a trinomial again. Let's factor this one, x squared minus 9. That's a difference of squares, so I factor into x minus 3 and x plus 3. Let's go over here and factor this one. What multiplies to 9 but adds to 6? Well, that's 3 times 3, so I'm going to do x plus 3 and x plus 3. I know the signs are the same, and they're both positive. Okay, so those two are factored. Now let's start bringing down our factors. I'm going to bring down first this x plus or x minus 3. Okay, so it accounts for that one. There's not an x minus 3 over here. Okay, this one has an x plus 3, but I don't want to duplicate it, so I'm going to cross that one out. And then I have another x plus 3. So I have to count for both of these. Okay, and that is my least common multiple, and that's how you find them. So let's go over the rules real quickly one more time. Okay, you're going to factor your terms. And you're going to write each factor, but you don't want to duplicate the common factors. And that's kind of how you find the least common multiple for polynomials.